just imagine it, or did you just sign an autograph for Adrian? Can you do that in some more? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's so round. It's okay. He's gone. You can follow her. So making sure I'm live. If you are watching me live, um, make sure that you comment, that you like, so that way I can know what's going on. So hi, everyone. My name is Vianney Valencia Gomez for VD's Notary Service here in Liberty, Texas. If you need the address, I can um, text you. I can give you directions. I can even um, just send you on how to get here or just look on my page. My address is on here for the office. So today I kind of wanted to talk about income tax. Not too much, but uh, just sort of if you're new or if um, you know my family or friends that live yeah. far in Houston yeah. or Pasadena or anywhere that you are living, I'd be happy to help um, in doing your income tax. I love you too, baby. Mm -hmm. Doing it online. Um, so I'm just letting you know, anybody that needs um, privacy, you don't like anybody else coming in, um, listening to our conversation for income tax, we can make an appointment, I can close the office and we can have a personal one-on-one -on -one closing. There's some people that have that fear of COVID and being around other people and I understand, I would try to accommodate however I can. So um, just let me know if you would like to come. If I do have an appointment, um, I try to make the appointments one hour uh, separate away from other people. Um, so let me go ahead and get started. So yeah, if you're new doing uh, if you're new to doing income tax this year, uh, like I said, I'd be happy to help. If you're new and you don't know exactly what is it that you need for income tax, you would need. Um, you know, if you're a U.S. citizen, just bring your social security card, your ID or passport, whatever has your information on it. Um, a utility bill would be great. And um, if you're a non-resident and you don't have certain documents, you would need your um, ITIN number, you need your passport, you would need uh, a utility bill that pretty much says like your address on it. That kind of helps me so that way you can receive things um, in the mail. Plus I put it on your income tax. Um, and for most of you that are just don't like to carry around your stuff, just bring me your income tax return of your previous year or the year before. And if it's pretty much basically the same thing, your general information, like your address, your phone number, your driver license, your social security, everything is the same. Just bring me your income tax uh, from prior years that way it won't be so much of a hassle bringing everything in. Um, if you've worked, you bring your W-2 form. If you're unemployed, you will also need your Texas Workforce um, Employment. It comes, there's a form that they send you from the IRS. Um, what else would you need? And that's pretty much basically it. And if you're self-employed, make sure that you um, print out your statements. If you're getting cash, make sure that you have receipts that you're, um, you're receiving cash from um, your uh, contracting, you know, if you're independent and you're a contractor, just make sure you have your receipts and um, your bank statements. If some of them are electronic, like let, let's say you receive cash from Zelle or Cash App or PayPal, whatever it is that you're receiving um, electronic payment, just bring your statements, make sure it, um, when you come, I recommend that you highlight where you're depositing. And if you haven't done that work yourself, um, like I said, I'd be happy more. I'd be more than happy to help you, but it will be extra. So I just kind of recommend that you kind of just print them out and you highlight it and then you put the total amount. I'll double check, but um, it's just if I do it myself, it will have to be more. Um, more work means more. Um, that you'd have to pay more. So that's just my um, recommendation to you. If you need like a like a checklist of exactly what is it that you need, if you have dependents, make sure you bring their social securities. Um, some people have brought me their birth certificates. That's not necessary, but I would just need their socials. Um, you know, if they're United States residents, your um, children, your dependents. And um, 
I think that's pretty much it. If you need a checklist overall of exactly what you would, you what you would need if you're new or you're wondering on how income tax works, that's how it works. You just bring your W-2s, your income, a sheet of paper that pretty much has like all your stuff. Um, and I'll go over exactly what is it that you can deduct or your credits, certain things like that. But on exactly what to bring for a tax preparer such as myself, you would just need to bring, you know, your personal information like your social, your I-10, your IDs, like your passport, your driver license, um, and a utility bill if, you know, like on most passports don't have your, obviously it doesn't have your address, so I would just need your address um, and then, of course, like your income. Um, okay. So I do also have a cheat sheet list on what is it that you can deduct or your credits. So I'm gonna go over it. And um, if you have a paper and a pen, you can write this down. Again, you can always review this video however many times you'd like. Um, right now we're at six minutes, so go back to six minutes. Um, and if not, I can always send you the cheat sheet for free because this stuff, you can find it on the internet. You can find it on um, the irs.gov. They have where you can deduct certain things. Um, so knowledge for me is uh, incredibly important. But let's go ahead and look at the deductions and tax credits. So number one tax credit, if you have a dependent, it's an EIC. You are earned um, your credit for having a child. That's your dependent. So you earn the EIC credit. Um, there are other credits as well. If you own a business, you can deduct your home office expenses as insurance, rent, utilities, supplies, office supplies, property taxes, et cetera. Um, if you use your home as your business, same applies as well. For business, you can use uh, meals at 50% or 100%. Um, your vehicle, so if you, uh, you know, you register your vehicle every year, you use uh, the registration, you can put that down as well. You can put the mileage. So um, a quick tip right there, if you go to QuickBooks, you can download QuickBooks on your phone, on your app, and just set it up, you know, put your general information, and it will track your mileage, you know, um, regardless if you have a business or you don't have a business, you can track your miles. Um, every day that you go to work or, you know, et cetera. And what else? Your advertising. Advertising falls under like business cards or um, magnets. If you use magnets on your, on your vehicle, what else? Legal and professional fees. So if you do income tax with me this year, you would put down the legal, um, well, not legal, but professional fee um, for your income tax. You can write that off as well. Um, taxes and licenses, if you have a license, like a business license, if you have, um, that's the only one that comes to mind. Taxes, if you pay property taxes, uh, large purchases, like a computer, um, furniture that you see behind me, what else, chairs, couches, tables, etc. cetera. Um, Business travel, if you, you know, you leave out of state or even in the city, you're not in Houston, you go to Austin or Beaumont or, you know, somewhere around in Texas, you're still traveling. So you can also put your business travels as well. Like, you know, if you stay at a hotel, the meals are practically the same thing. Um, and practically anything else that you use for business travel, um, clothing and shoes um credit card loans lines of credit um rental equipment if you rent um you know your lawnmower you can uh put that as a rental equipment uh medical and dental if you have insurance that you're paying on your own it's uh it's private insurance it's not through your your um your jobs uh insurance so if you're paying it you can put that down as well. You can write it off. Contract labor, uh, bank charges, what else? Charitable donations. Now I say that this year for um, income tax 2020, the most that you can put down or write off on charitable donations would be up to $300. Um, 
before you would be able to put out, uh, I think it was like $2,000 worth of charitable donations, but now it's only up to $300. So the only, um, if you wanted to put cash or something that even if it was like a personal item, it would still just have to be up to $300. And what else? Whether it's personal or related. So if you give $300 worth in um, going to church, you give $20 each time, you can write that off, but only up to $300. Sorry, guys. And child care expenses. If you have a nanny, you can write her off as well because you're paying her. The only thing with that is that you would have to put her, when you go to your tax preparer, you would have to give her name, her social, and where she lives. That's it. And how much you give her. Um daycare, food and meals for your children. Um, if you pack them lunch, you can write that off as well. Um, education expenses, if your children go to college, it would be only up to the age of 23, 24. I think it's 23 or 24. So um, I could keep going on and on, but like I said, um, my video's almost up. And I'm just letting you know that if you would like the cheat sheet, I can give that to you and you can just kind of go from there. If some of you haven't had the opportunity to do your income tax just yet, for different reasons that a lot of people haven't done it yet, um, they're just waiting to do, they're paying their property taxes, they haven't paid their property taxes just yet, or they're financially struggling right now and they can't um, do their income tax or they just haven't received certain stuff. I have gotten, a couple of people that haven't been able to receive their W-2s or haven't been able to download them for whatever reason. Um, so I understand your struggle. So if you still need someone to do your income tax to help you prepare for that, um, just let me know. You can call me, you can text me, um, you can even message me through Facebook, whatever is more convenient to you. And if, like I said, if I know I live far, I live in Liberty, or you can't find a day to get off of work. There are a lot of people that are struggling and they need to work. Um, just send me your information. I will ask you for certain things. I will send you a PDF or a picture of exactly what you need um, that I need, you know, that I need for you to receive um, to do your income tax. So we'll just go from there. Um, but like I said, if you're one of those people that are very personal and want to come down and um, we don't have to set up an appointment. I'm just saying if you wanted to be more private, we can um, schedule an appointment. That way I can make sure that I close my door and let people know that I'm having a private session um, doing income tax with you. So um, yeah, guys, I hope that was um, helpful enough. And like I said, if you need that uh, cheat sheet on exactly what is it that could be deducted or credited, I'd be more than happy to send that your way. Um, and also anything like if you need a checklist, the checklist, the checklist, sorry, is separate. It's exactly what a tax preparer, tax preparer would need if you have additional things like um, unemployment or um, alimony, um, uh, disability, etc. Those are a, a checklist of what exactly I would need in order to prepare your income tax or tax return. And then the cheat sheet, which I have right here that I'm kind of looking down. This is like all of the things that you can deduct or credits that you could um, write off on your um, income tax. So I hope I was helpful. Um, like I said, um, I'm fairly new, but I'm learning and um, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. And if you need anything, please let me know. Please contact me, message me, comment. Um, Please share this video if someone needs this type of help. They're new to doing income tax. They haven't done it for years um, and they're just doing it again. Or, um, you know, some people are not residents or not U.S. citizens and they're like, no, I'm scared about doing income tax. Don't be scared. Um, I get that a lot. And a lot of people want to do their income tax because, you know, their children are U.S. citizens and they have that right to get the stimulus for their children. So just let me know um, if there's anything I can help. And um, like I said, I'll try my best, whatever I don't know. I am very good friends <laughs> with the IRS, as in I talk to them constantly about certain things. And um, yeah. So I'm, I'm always here for you guys. So share this and I will also be uploading a Spanish video later on and I will be posting it on my um, on my private page. 
and then y'all can share. So thank you guys. And let me know your thoughts. If I was going too fast, let me know if I did something wrong or said something wrong that I can correct because I want to be knowledgeable as well. And I want to be good for everybody that um, comes to me. I want to make sure that I'm doing a good job as well. So bye guys, take care and be safe. Again, my name is Vianney Valencia and I live in Liberty, Texas. My office is in Liberty, Texas and have a great day. Bye.